today we're going to talk about a warm Christmas festival and how to cherish it in Sweden. Christmas in Sweden is one of the most prestigious events to witness as it is celebrated for a prolonged period of time, usually ending around the 13th of January. From the flickering candles to the warm meals, Swedish inhabitants know how to keep the spirit of Christmas up high. The celebration begins on the 13th of December with St. Lucy Day. This day commemorates the sacrifices of a Christian girl who was killed merely for her faith. While Christianity was going through the dark times, this girl used to bring food to the Christians in the hideout in order to help them. And to be able to carry the maximum food in her hands, she used to wear candles on her head. So on this day, girls dress up as Lucy, wearing white dresses and a crown of candles commemorating her sacrifices. And these stories have been retold by the monks, who were the reason that the Christianity first came to Sweden. There's a lot more you can do while you're there, and to learn why it is the right spot to celebrate the warmth of this festival, stick with us till the end of the video. We're going to count down the five best ways to spend your Christmas holidays in Sweden. Number five, visit to Sweden's Christmas city, Gothenburg. Christmas really feels like Christmas while you're in this city that has such a warm and cozy atmosphere during the festival filled with enchanting choirs and plenty of fun things to do, including ice skating. Officials are trying to make an official Christmas city of Sweden. You'd find Twixmas treats, Swedish Christmas flavors, and flickering lights in the markets here to make it worth your while while you're there. From mid-November onwards, Huge segments of the downtown area, including Avalon, are decorated with gleaming pixie lights. Happy symbolism is likewise projected onto the colossal block facade of the city's fundamental art gallery exhibition. And there's usually an ensemble or two, marking nearby around Kungsportplatsen. Leisberg Amusement Park is Sweden's most famous Christmas market that especially looks heavenly in winters filled with snow making it a winter wonderland. Truly a magical place and just the right way to get into the Christmas spirit. You can get a nice view of the theme parks from one of the bars here. You can spot the lights flickering from afar, and even though there's noise in the background, one just goes into the pool of his own thoughts, thinking how warm Christmas makes a person feel. Number four, take a sledding trip. Once you're here, you must go on a strappy sledding trip. Anything that doubles the happiness associated with the festival, one must always try. Because whenever there's snow, it calls for a sledding trip for sure. Isn't it festive enough to glide across the snow pulled by the adorable huskies? And it's not only a fascinating and exciting thing to do for kids, but the adults also love it wholeheartedly. The experience can be entirely wholesome and different for you if you feed these huskies with your hands beforehand and help the crew harness them up. It builds a fine rapport with the animals and you enjoy the ride with someone you just built a relationship with. You just have to speak up, mush, and these brawny fluff balls will start gliding across the snow with speed. Number three, witness the beauty of Swedish Lapland. To the far north of Sweden, you will find magic, and not the kind you read in books that's vain, but the kind that feels real and right. And the most magical thing that you can witness there are the northern lights. You will not be able to get your eyes off the sky for sure. And the perfect place to do so is Abisko. That's about an hour drive from Kiruna. But to absorb more of its beauty, you will at least need a week or so there to soak yourself all up with the beauty of it. You can go snowshoeing through the forests that are drowning with the weight of the color white. You can also spot the herds of reindeer and catch them on camera as well. And since there's a lot of snow around, you can also learn how to make snow sculptures and photograph yourselves with them. How can you get there? Well, you can either fly to Kiruna or take a train to reach there. The wise choice can be then hiring a car so you have the flexibility of exploring around at your own pace. And then you get to see more of the wildlife there. 
You can also go see Jokas Jarvi, that's almost 20 minutes further from Kiruna. And here you will see that notorious ice hotel that's worth paying a visit to. During Christmas, it's a little pricey, but even if you're not planning to stay here, you must go have a look at it. The Swedish Lapland is filled with the beauty of all sorts, where you can enjoy the holidays in peace. Number 2. Skiing in Salen If you don't feel like traveling all the way to the Swedish Lapland, then we have just the right alternative for you as well. You can go skiing with your friends and family in Salen, and you can make your visit to Sweden still worth it, because snow stays here for like 6 months, so you don't necessarily have to rush the process. It's not as crowded as the skiing resorts usually are. Even at the best resorts, you will find enough space and you won't be overwhelmed. You will find plenty of cabins and self-catering apartments there as well. You can also run out the gear for skiing even if you didn't pack it with you. There are a lot of skiing resorts throughout Sweden where there are very neat snowboarding spots. And the only area to avoid during the skiing hunt is Skane. That's filled with snow, yes, but it is as plain as a pancake and won't be an ideal spot for skiing. Other than that, visiting the skiing resorts is one fun thing that you can do while you're in Sweden around the Christmas holidays. Number 1. Have a festive hot tub experience Festivals usually aren't about partying, noise, and screaming. Some festivals have a warmth associated with them that makes you want to show gratitude towards everything that you have or everything that you have achieved so far. And what's the best way to do that in the cold? By taking a hot bath under the northern lights in silence and cherishing the spirit of Christmas by showing gratitude. It doesn't involve the hustle bustle of marketplaces and people singing Christmas songs at the top of their lungs, but it does involve some flickering Christmas lights at a fine distance and the smell of Christmas in the air. There are plenty of guest houses near Kangos where you can celebrate Christmas in calm and cozy environments with outdoor hot tub views over the water. There's a lot of other things that you can do here to make your Christmas memorable, including the reindeer safaris, ice diving, ice fishing, and much more. So rest assured that your holidays can never not be fun while you're in Sweden. Comment below how you normally celebrate your Christmas. And if you plan on visiting Sweden, how do you plan on doing that? And as always, where to next?